The notion of isomorphic graphs. Two graphs are isomorphic when there's a bijection, a one-to-one -one correspondence, between their vertex set so that xy is an edge in g1 if and only if the images f of x and f of y is an edge in g2. Look at the two graphs shown. I claim they're isomorphic. There is a one-to-one -one correspondence, a bijection between the vertex set of the first graph and the vertex set of the second graph so that a pair of vertices are adjacent in the first graph if and only if their images are adjacent in the second graph. Which vertex is mapped? Uh, where, where is 4 mapped? So look at 4 in the first graph. And where is that mapped in the second graph? 1. OK, no, notice I've made up this uh, case where the vertex sets are actually overlapping. So you've got to be very careful. There's a vertex 1 uh, in the second graph. There's a vertex 4 in both graphs. But 4 in the first graph does not correspond to 4 in the second graph. All right. Is the notion of a isomorphism and the, uh, the notion of two graphs being isomorphic, is that clear to you? Another question for thought. If I give you two graphs and ask you, are they isomorphic? And Yolanda and Bob are now arguing. Yolanda says yes. Bob says no. Who's going to have the easier task? And it's Yolanda. Because all she does is she gives the one-to-one -one correspondence and says, check it out. What she doesn't, what she doesn't have to explain is where she got it. Now, you and I know she went out on the mall on the way to the student walk and said, I need an isomorphism. Anybody got an isomorphism? Right here, 50 cents for an isomorphism. And so she paid the 50 cents and got it. But then she walked back in and said, here's the isomorphism. Because she doesn't have to explain where she got it from. She just, in your face, Bob, here is the isomorphism. Now you go check it out. Oh, and get some of those UGA people to do the dirty work for you. But Bob, on the other hand, is in a world of hurt. Because in general, all he can say is, I tried to find one, and I couldn't do it. OK, now there are some special cases that are easy. If the one graph has 96 vertices and the other one has 84, well, they're not isomorphic because there isn't a one-to-one -one correspondence of any kind between the vertex set. If they don't have the same number of edges, if they don't have the same degree sequence, those kinds of things. But if all those tests are passed, and you still don't know what the bijection is, you'll never find it. Very, very hard. That's the end of the week. Do study some graph theory over the week, because we're going to continue on this topic. And I will see you again on Tuesday.